Hello everyone, I am Dr. Adil Zia and welcome to another lecture on the use of SPSS for performing multiple regression. In this video I will be teaching you how you can perform the uh, multiple regression which is uh, linear multiple regression and I will also be talking about the interpretation of the results related to it. Uh, further I will be explaining about the hypothesis testing, how you can frame the uh, language of uh, hypothesis, how you can articulate the language and then you can uh, correlate it with the SPSS output to test whether it is accepted or rejected. So uh, we will continue about it. I will also talk about where we can apply this uh, multiple regression analysis for our uh, data and how we can use it for our uh, interpretation and the testing of the hypothesis. So this is the first example. I'll start from here. Um, I'm not uh, starting the multiple regression in the uh, traditional way. Rather, I'm just starting from the model because uh, trying to understand the multiple regression from a model perspective is much more easier then directly interpreting the equations and the um, tools from SPSS. Now, one thing you have to understand that when we try to use the multiple regression and which is a linear uh, multiple regression, we are talking about independent and dependence. Now, uh, what is the meaning of independent? Independent means the factors. Uh, those factors which doesn't depend on other factors they are independent of their own okay there are dependent factors which we want to measure with the help of the independent factors like for example if i say i want to test the performance students performance in the final exam so student performance in final exam is the dependent variable Whereas independent variable is the uh, list of subjects or the courses that he or she is studying uh, in the course. Like if I say science, maths, history, English or other courses. So all these courses, the performance of all these courses will determine the overall performance of the student in a class. So the overall performance is the dependent variable whereas the performance individually in subjects they are independent. Another example like if I say I want to measure the um, satisfaction, job satisfaction. So the job satisfaction is the dependent variable which depends upon the independent variables like the salary the um, boss attitude, co-workers, working environment, other perks, incentives, so many factors can be there. So the list of all the independent factors which have an impact on the dependent factors, if you have a model like this, you apply multiple regression. And this is a linear multiple regression where we have only single dependent variable whereas we have more number of independent variables. Now why this is called uh, the uh, uh, dependent variable because this, this dependent variable, the, the performance or the uh, you can say when you want to measure this variable, variable means it varies, it, it is not constant, it keeps on changing. These are also variables it keeps on changing like you have to identify that these these are variables which are dependent these are variables which are independent um, independent have impact on the dependents so we have arrow generating from here and it is coming up now if we want to know or try to find out which of these factors have impact positive negative significant insignificant 
we can use the multiple regression as the analytical tool to find out this relationship. Um, now I'll go to the SPSS file to uh, demonstrate this phenomena. Uh, this is the SPSS file which I have and uh, in my earlier videos I have uh, shown that how you can um, transfer the data from the questionnaire to the SPSS file. So if you want to learn that how you can transfer the data from a questionnaire and uh, develop this kind of SPSS file, this is data view, variable view, you can uh, see those videos. Okay. Now here we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variables. Now out of these seven variables, this is the model. The model which we have will explain the relationship. This model can have one, two, three, four, or even more independent variable. And it is up to the researcher to decide how many independents he want to, um, uh, you know, put into the analysis to find out the impact on the one in, uh, dependent variable. In this model, I have decided that job satisfaction will be considered to be uh, the uh, dependent variable, whereas job related freedom, uh, colleagues uh, feedback and unsupportive boss, um, these are the three um, independent variables. Okay, um, This uh, customer rejection rate, uh, unsupported uh, co-workers and stress these are also the uh, independent variable but I have uh, divided this into uh, two groups because I want to show you the use of multiple regression and the impact that how the output changes once we try to change the number of uh, independent variables in our analysis now what we will do we will go to analyze regression will go to linear if you have uh, uh, this uh, software you can easily try to find out the impact this job satisfaction will go here as dependent and these are the three um, independent variables will go here I'm not selecting other um, you know dimensions because I just want to show you a very simple step easy and very simple step to find out the impact of the independent variables on the dependent variables. Here I am taking only three independent variables. When you click OK, you have the output. Now in the output you will see uh, the one, two, three, four windows. The first window is only talking about the uh, variables and their related uh, method i have used the enter method i'm not using the stepwise method and other methods enter is the basic one i've used the enter method for this analysis the next is related to model summary in the model summary you will see <coughs> there there are different dimensions here r r square adjusted r square and the standard error R value is related to the um, correlation coefficient or we call it the quality of prediction quality of prediction for the dependent variable what is the quality higher the value of R higher is the the quality of prediction okay the R square value tells about the um, impact or you can say the coefficient of determination it is called coefficient of determination which tries to explain or shows the proportion of variance in the dependent variable explained by the independent variable okay what does it mean it means when i have taken three variables job related freedom colleagues uh, feedback and unsupportive boss these three all together how much they are able to explain the variance in 
the job satisfaction so here in this model it's only able to explain 21.7 percent okay so the variance is explained only 21.7 percent whereas uh, adjusted r square is 0 0.20 means 20.9 considering the standard deviation we will see this ANOVA next is the ANOVA we go for interpretation of this uh, ANOVA table in this interpretation we try to see the significance level this is the first one it is highly significant what does it mean it means that all together all together which is 21.7 percent the uh, proportion of variance which is explained by the three independent variables variance in the dependent variable is significant okay so these three are explaining the variance in the job satisfaction which is significant and total it is 21.7 percent now we will come to coefficients table this coefficient table first we will see the beta values unstandardized and we have the standardized beta values the first uh, column is beta value talking about the constant I will explain it in the form of uh, an equation and I'll tell you how to do that equation constant is 2.882 then we have job related freedom unstandardized value it is positive 0.257 and it is significant this means for job satisfaction the job related freedom is significant it is significantly contributing in the job satisfaction okay and it is positively influencing the job satisfaction when we talk about the colleagues feedback it is insignificant so we will not interpret it it is negative but it is insignificant so we will not in go for interpretation further uh, analysis of this figure if we talk about unsupportive boss yes it is significant so unsupportive boss is highly in uh, highly significant and it is negatively influencing the uh, job satisfaction now how to interpret this I have told you the negative sign means it is negatively influencing and if it is no sign means it is positive which means it is positively impacting or influencing the job satisfaction now here uh, 0.257 it means one unit change in the uh, uh, job related freedom will influence 0 0.258 uh, 0 0.257 times the job related freedom which means I'm saying the job satisfaction is equal to 0 0.257 times the job related freedom okay this you can understand it when I'll be explaining by the use of equation um, one unit increase um, in job related freedom will influence 0.257 times the job satisfaction you can say or vice versa now unsupportive boss which means minus 176 times the uh, when I when I make the equation you will be able to understand unsupportive boss one unit change in the unsupportive boss will influence 0.176 times the job satisfaction okay so we will interpret it in this way next is related to the beta values this is the standardized value some people say why don't we go for a standardized one yes we give, go for a standardized one also but uh, these values they uh, try to explain it like the standard deviation one unit standard deviation in the dependent variable is 
0.316 times the standard deviation change in uh, independent variable okay now one unit change in service quality will have uh, if I go for the job related uh, freedom 0.316 times the job related freedom in the part 2 video I have explained the impact of uh, including more uh, independent variables and how this uh, multiple regression equation changes once we add more number of uh, independent variables and um, second I have also explained how we can test the hypothesis okay um, thank you for watching